The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Accompanied by the GCW World Champion, Mr. August Artois. He's real, he's raw, he's the darn draw. Target, there is a 99% chance of accuracy. And oh, we got a quick start. Jules Bradley not taking any time, going right for the back of the arm, twisting that shoulder of Brian Hank. Crazy stuff going on right now. Yeah, the Patriarch in full control. Oh no. Brian hit nice arm drag there. I gotta give the kid credit where I can't hit time. You gotta imagine that Jules Bradley is gonna do sensational inside this ring when he's being coached by the current reigning and defending GCW World Heavyweight Champion, August Artois. Only because I'm busy, but the real and raw doing a great job on the outside. Step is over that. Sticky Bobby turning the volume up a little bit here. He's just excited. Oh wait, I forgot I was supposed to be impartial. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Hick going to the outside. He's gonna chase after the shiny one. They call him the shiny one, not the agile one for a reason, but he is smart. Look, grabs the shoulder that he already previously attacked. Stupid. Oh, starts all trash talking Brian Hill on the outside. Not getting involved. Smart man. That's three. Again, referee Julie calling the action. Unbiased, right down the middle. Break it. 
gets arm dragged by the shiny like one. That, Back to the shoulder, just wrenching on it. Say what you want about Jules Bradley, but when he wants to be a tactician in that squared circle, he knows where to go and how to do it. He might shake the mullet, but he knows how to inflict pain at the same time. World-class training at the Woho Dojo. I think a lot of people sleep on the shiny one Jules Bradley because they look at him and they don't see somebody who's physically fit to their fullest extent. But what you need to know when you step in the ring with Jules Bradley is this man is smart. He's had to fight for survival of most of his entire life and is well-traveled up and down Florida, Georgia, Alabama, all over. You've seen him on all different types of companies doing different styles of wrestling. He is the sensei of single wide strong style for a reason. Sensation, sensei, either one. They both work. In full control of Brian Hitt trying to take that arm right out of socket. How do you feel, kid? Face first in the turnbuckle. Jules Bradley is made of money, and if they made a triple wide trailer, he'd probably own one. Show! Show! Your brother ain't here to save you. Ooh, trash talk from the heavyweight champion from outside of the ring saying, Your brother is not here to save you. Sticks, who is Brian Hitt's brother? Do we know? Yeah, I do. That's do that you? guy. Uh, that guy, Jake Painter. Oh, okay, the back-breaking artist. Who got robbed. Allegedly by the marquee earlier here in the show. We saw that. What do you say? Give up! Give up! Jules Bradley going back to work on that shoulder. You can see the hit maker just holding his shoulder in pain. Referee Julie checking on him. August Artois outside, just kind of coaching along Jules Bradley. Jules doesn't need no coaching, he's smart. He's taking that shoulder, and now he's going to the top while holding the wrist again, as you've heard. Oh! Well, I guess the wrist didn't follow this time. Jules Bradley went for a tightrope walk, got pulled down by the hitmaker. Fell on his face. Jules Bradley occasionally slips, but always finds his way back to his feet. That's life. Brian hit. Oh, nice clothesline by the youngster. Come on, Jules. Jules gets knocked down again. Jules, this is not what we talked about. Come on, Jules. Shoulder. That shoulder is in pain. I'm telling you. Jules right is back to it. Yeah, baby. He's got a bullseye on it. Now Jules is going to roll out and catch his breath. What is Jules doing here? Yeah, you know, there's just some tech. I, I gave him notes. For notes. I gave him notes before the match. Oh, no, wait. Wait, is that his pre-workout? He, yeah, he's, he's tired. He's trying to pre-workout a little bit. He's uh, trying to get hyped up. August telling Julie what's what. Oh, no, he spilled the pre-workout right oh, in Brian no. Hitt's face. Rolls him up right in his face. Oh, there it is. The Patriarch. I've never seen such actions come from a guy like Jules Brown. I thought, I thought he had it a little bit better than that. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm so proud. The Patriarch, the Black Belt in Woho Dojo, single wide strong style. Square. The champ, August Artois, the real, the raw, the damn draw. My boys, Brandon. Sticks, you are despicable. Oh, you you know what? Listen, if you want to talk about despicable, you go look in the mirror. But first, I want you to hit Jules Bradley merch table. Get yourself a moment, you bald son of a bitch. I'm going to go get one of those mullet sticks we was talking about. Let's take it down to Ashton, our broadcast colleague.
that you wish you had as a child. Talk to it, kid. Just like I said I was going to do, I told him that some can, some can't, some got some men, some go, some go, some go, some go, some go, baby. And I'll see y'all down the road. So I'm just trying to go, like I always do. That's right. Let's go to Waffle House. Let's see some of that Waffle House sauce, baby. My two best friends in the world right there. Look at him! Look at him! Shaking the mullet. Look at him! Look at him! Ladies Look and gentlemen, him. this is Live Forever. We will be Look right back. Can I watch you shake? 